Greetings and welcome to In the Margins, a multimedia project and Minecraft server. I am, as always, in my own world. Thank you for joining me here. My pronouns are they, them, and as a reminder, I have motor and vocal tics. You will hear odd sounds from time to time. <laughs> in today's video, I'm going to be showing you around the uh, server spawn, which you can reach just by simply typing backslash spawn and it will teleport you on top of the spawn pyramid in the middle of the deep ocean. <clears throat> You'll notice that there are a few buildings and platforms around. A lot of it is still under construction. Over there, under the README, we have information about the server, what makes it different from vanilla, tips and tricks. <clears throat> the red road leads to, let's see, a nether portal right here, and further down the line is our subways that will take you to the continents in each of the four directions. So this is the transportation road, red road, warp station, and oh yes, the warp station. We have little warp booths here. They're labeled to where they take you. The portal, which can be reached both from the ocean and from and from the path up here. But that's not what you're interested in. You are here because I said I was going to show you the server farms. Well, over here is a somewhat passive farm. While you are elsewhere around spawn, if any drowned show up, they will see the villagers in the upper and lower chambers of these two things here. Come after them get dragged down by the magma blocks, take damage, and their drops will be picked up by the minecart. There's plenty of uh, fish also being caught, the occasional nautilus shell from some of the drowns, but it's down here, down here that we want to go. It's going to be a good, because that is where the good farms are. I think we can Let's start over with the crop farm area. We have a nice small uh, sugarcane farm. Plenty of sugarcane. We have in this section over here, we have a lot going on. I'm going to start along this wall. So we have a composter. You just add your items into the barrel there, they'll go through, and you get bone meal. We have a nano farm. Add bone meal here. Plant the uh, crops. Over here we have a cactus farm. Uh, zero tick is what it's called. Um, basically, uh, you can look up look up zero tick or zero tick cactus farm to find out. So uh, you stand here. The pistons fire really, really quickly, doing some weird stuff, causing some updates and forcing the cacti to grow. And uh, plop down here. Big, big, big. Now you can toss an item onto the wooden pressure plate and have it run. It takes five minutes for items to despawn. And since this is in the spawn chunks, uh, these chunks are always loaded as long as at least one player is online. So you can be anywhere on the server and be producing the cactus here, and most of the uh, some of the, some other farms here will also do that. <coughs> this is a sea pickle farm. Just have bone meal in these dispensers. Flip the switch. And it gives you a uh, decent amount of pickles. That was wait. 42 pickles. Jeez, I barely had that on for any length of time. So yeah, it's fast. Uh, we also have chests here where the above ground farms come in. The wheat farm, the seeds end up getting filtered out, passed through a composter and converted into bone meal. And we can have uh, bone blocks, hay bales down here below. Melons and pumpkins. A nice small farm, it's a bit very slow, but we don't use these very often. 
If you want more of these, you want to head over to the Guardian Farm with a Silk Touch Axe, and you'll get a lot really quick. Good. Potatoes, carrots. It's good. So that is the crop area. If you come over to this side, we have wool and kelp along the wool side. It's good. Wool and uh, wool farm and chickens. So we have 16 sheep, one of each color. Anytime a sheared sheep eats the grass off of a grass block, it uh, regrows its uh, wool and the grass is converted to dirt, which the observer block notices and uh, sends off the dispenser with shears, shearing the sheep. So basically, as soon as a sheep gets its uh, wool back, poof, it gets sheared off. Hopper minecart down below picks it up, drops it off. It runs through the sorting system over here, and we have wool of every color. Back here in the end, we just have a nice simple chicken farm. This is the auto smelting area. So we have kelp and bamboo farms, and they are uh, fed into a smoker over here. Bamboo comes down, smelts it. So we have plenty of dried kelp. We've got a decent amount of bamboo. And uh, leftover kelp gets run through this uh, composter and converted into bone meal. We have a auto smoker, a auto blast furnace, and a couple of auto furnaces. So you can just put in uh, put in your fuel, put in whatever you want to smelt, and take it out. Because uh, furnaces and similars, uh, similar smelting blocks uh, build up experience in them when you remove the items with hoppers, you can just stand on a pressure plate here. That redstone will, block, will, will, will lock that hopper, and then you can pull an item out, and you'll get all the XP that is built up from all the smelting that has been done. We're going to carry on to the next corner. Ooh, I'll do that one last. Let's uh, head over here to the slime corner. This over here, you don't have to worry about. It's just a small office where I keep some things. Our wonderful slime farm. As soon as the slime gets within, I think it's eight blocks of a... Uh, iron golem, it'll start going after it. So these slimes will wander around, come over the edge, get washed down onto the magma blocks. And we end up with so, so much slime. That's good. Now let's head over to the last farm down here underneath, which is the iron farm and similar. So you can come in here and take a look at it. So we have a farm that's going to produce iron golems, drop them down into the lava, and their poppies and uh, iron ingots will be sorted and sent off. There's also a mob farm. Uh, any mob spawns in it immediately gets pushed into the uh, water stream and sent down here. You can, if you so wish, hit them and get XP, but there's better XP farms on the server. We've got a lot of iron, like significantly a lot of iron. <laughs> Poppies come down here when uh, there's an overflow, so poppies, more poppies end up getting converted into bone meal. And of course we have a little enchanting table, chest where there's a little bit of lapis. Uh, oh yes, these are big, huge, tall anvil stacks going up here, so if one breaks, you get a fresh anvil. You've got plenty of storage. And our wonderful little shulker station, because this area is protected from building. Players can't build here, so they can't play shulker boxes. This is how we get around that. There are also shulker boxes, uh, shulker stations in the four corners. Where the do uh, doorways are. So we have a nice simple piston dispenser combo and above it an ender chest. And that's the same for all four corners here.
Uh, let's move it yeah, back there. Now, that is pretty much the farm area down here. In other videos, I'll show you our other farms. Also, in each of the four uh, cardinal directions, northeast, southwest, we have these piston doors. They are color coded to match the uh, mm -hmm. color coded to match the beacons and the path colors. And they take you to nice little water elevators. So the red road is the transportation road. I don't know if I've said that yet in this video. <laughs> so there's a portal. There are teleportation booths labeled. <laughs> and way down there we have uh, subways. These will take you to the nearest continent, uh, north, east, south, and west from here. Let's just go right back to spawn and on this side, we have storage, we have a tree farm, and we have more storage. Off to the left is the amusement park, which is still under construction. Storage has three levels. The top level is for pickaxe mineable objects. Second level is for shovel object, uh, shovel mineable objects, and for plants. And the third floor, bottom floor, squiglet, is for mob drops. Now the tree farm, just to the other side over here, squiglet, is very nice. We've got uh, currently it's just set up with acacia trees, but we also have saplings of uh, all types here. Diamond axes will chop entire trees, and there's a hopper mine cart that will pick up drops so you don't have to, to wait around. A couple of auto AFK fish farms that you can use. Oh yes, right. And underneath it, watch out for Slendy. Slendy is over here. This is our rainbow storage room. So here we have rainbow glass, rainbow glass panes. Wool and wool carpets. We have, of course, our shulker stations in the corners. Beep, beep, beep. Uh, this is concrete and concrete powder. We have terracotta and glazed terracotta. We have shulker boxes. And we have dyes. So we have storage for spaces for all of these items. The reason we have two chests for all of these is because one chest is for full shulkers and then one chest is for loose items. This little place up here, that is where our crop farms are. The crops all come down, fall down the center shaft, uh, down underground into a sorting system. Oh yes, and I'm going to end this video, I think. Uh, have I gotten everything? Okay, yes. So this over here is a simple AFK uh, spot. You can just hop yourself in. AFK here as long as you want. You can drop out the bottom or climb up the top when you're done. And if there's multiple players online, uh, it can be hard to get everybody to sleep in a bed and switch it to day. So we have this little system over here. During the night, the door is open. You press the button, and it switches it to just before sunrise, and the sun starts coming up. And in a few moments after the sun comes up, this will close and be closed until nighttime again. Oh yes, and over here on this platform, uh, the README platform, is where we have information on things that are <coughs> uh, different from vanilla or 
So we have uh, land claims, that's the grief prevention plugin. Uh, fast tree chopping diamond axes will chop entire trees. You can silk touch spawners on this server. There's the information about sleeping that I just told you about that uh, thing you can press. If there's more, more I need to write, like a book on how to build in ways to have minimal lag, uh, information on what custom drops are, what custom recipes are. But we definitely have some written books here with information that's useful to you. <coughs> Pardon me. Anyway, here is our server spawn. This is available to all players and uh, hopefully makes building, crafting, all that much easier to have access to all of these resources. Enjoy, see you online, and happy crafting.